Bow hunting is an extreme sport, taking a hunter into some crazy and wild places, beautiful, majestic, and sometimes very dangerous. Bow hunter friend and co-host of Sportsman of North America, Mike McCabe, has found out just how dangerous the sport can really be. On May 24th, while on a bear hunt in Alberta, Canada, Mike was filming Keith Powell as a monstrous chocolate-faced black bear strolled into sight. Excitement filled the air as Mike leaned up and whispered to Keith, I'm going to make your day. Here comes a giant chocolate. Mike proceeded to move into filming position and powered up the camera. The tragic event that followed will be deeply etched into our minds here at Sportsman of North America. Mike's friends and family never imagined how impactful a tragedy of this magnitude would affect their everyday life. Mike's tree stand gave way. After falling 25 feet, Mike hit the ground. The impact instantly knocked Mike's breath out. Keith quickly scrambled down the tree to Mike's side. Mike insisted on sharing his story with you. So maybe you, your friends, and your family will never go through the nightmare he and his family have experienced. Here's his story. Folks, my name's Mike McCabe. I'm one passionate bow hunter. I've got a story for you. On the 24th of May this year, 08, I was hunting with a good partner of mine, um, Keith Powell. We had a lot of stuff to take into the woods. We had cameras, we had camera arms, we had all kinds of stuff. We just moved a tree stand area. We just bumped him up just a little bit because um, we wanted a little extra elevation out of the deal. And I didn't put a safety belt on. I sat in that stand for most probably two hours. I had a big chocolate bear come in behind me and I was the one doing the filming for Keith. And he'd never really shot a big, a big, you know, bear. So this was gonna make my night. So I tapped him on the shoulder and I told him, I said, I'm gonna make your night, brother. I said, we've got a giant chocolate bear coming in. And um, I turned the camera on and I eased up, just stood up gently, and I started to turn around, and the worst thing in the world happened to me. The tree stand broke. I didn't find out exactly what happened to it, but the chain come loose from the top of the, the uh, stand, and it dumped me. And let me tell you something, I had no safety belt on. With a safety belt, I would have been hanging there and we would have been laughing about this. But what happened is I fell 25 feet. I broke my wrists. I've just had the plaster off these wrists about a week ago. I broke both wrists. I broke th three places in this left wrist with the two longer bones. I broke one place over here. I broke eight fractures on my right side in my rib cage. I broke six fractures on my left side of my rib cage. And when I hit the ground, my knees drove up into my chest and I broke my sternum. That would have been bad enough. But what happened? I ended up breaking my back, C3 and C4. And it left me paralyzed from about here down. And let me tell you something. It ain't no picnic. You get up in the morning and you can't, you realize that you can't walk. I mean, my feet, I can't feel. My, my legs, I can't feel. But I tell you what, I'm working with a great doctor and I've got Jesus Christ on my side. And I believe that with that power, I'm going to walk again. I'm not quitting on this. I'm getting ready to head to Atlanta to go to a, uh, one of the top specialized um, spinal injury clinics in the country. And I'm going to go and do what I can do there. And when I get back, I'm going to be working with the doctor that I'm working with right now. And I tell you what, I am going to do whatever it takes to walk again. Because I've got a passion. It's bow hunting. And that's what I do.
Medical expenses of an event like the one you've just heard are enormous. We here at Sportsman of North America, as well as Mike's family, want to thank everyone for their support. Prayers, emails, and the financial donations sent in for Mike's continuing medical needs are much appreciated. At the request of family and friends, we here at Sportsman of North America have set up a Mike McCabe Fund at Bank of America's Nationwide. If you would like to donate, the information is at the bottom of your screen. Or go to the website, sportsmanna.com, for all of Mike's contact information. Thanks once again for all of your thoughts and prayers. God bless. That does it for this week's show. We're signing out until next time. Shoot straight and be safe.